Hello everyone, Hack Free Stuff here. A few months ago, I decided to replace the SSD on my MacBook Pro 2017 due to lack of space. My model only has 256 gigabytes of space, and it was often full. I purchased the SSD from OWC, the Model Aura Pro NT, with one terabyte, which advertised being a solid alternative to Apple's proprietary socket. Unfortunately, when I opened the package, I saw that the device was nothing more than an M.2 to NWA 2230 adapter, unlike Apple's proprietary PCA slot. First, I will analyze the performance of the original SSD. For this, I will use the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test on Marcos. For the purpose of this video, I did not consider the process of disassembling and assembling the SSD, as there are countless videos online on how to do it. Although the process is straightforward, after removing the aluminum cover, it is only necessary to remove two screws. After installing macOS, I noticed that the disk classification in system information changed from flash storage to solid state P Express drive. We can conclude that compared to the original disk, we gained 75% in reading speed, but lost 19% in writing speed. As I occasionally need to use the Windows system, I use Bootcamp to test some games. To test performance on the Windows system, I use Crystal Disk Mark. Interestingly, the reading speed increased by 135% compared to the original disk. Although it may be related to BitLocker encryption being turned off, on macOS file vault was turned on. Finally, I will test the game Forza Horizon 5. In order to make the game fluid, I had to limit the number of frames per second to 20. The video was sped up, but from the moment we started running the game until we could start accelerating a car, it took us about 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Compared to the time with an Xbox Series S console, we gave it about 4 times more. While showing the game performance, I will present my feedback in terms of advantages. The disc is considerably faster and I can notice a slight performance gain when working with software that needs to access the disk frequently. In terms of disadvantages, this disk does not have energy management that allows you to reduce energy consumption when suspending the computer or when closing the laptop lid. This caused my MacBook to run out of battery from one day to the next, even with the lid closed. I tried to solve the problem using various methods with kernel extensions, SMC, Reset, OWC, support, but they had no solution. In my honest opinion, the disk adapter was not tested by OWC for a long period of time to verify that there was substantial consumption when the computer was idle. In my scenario, I had changed the battery on my laptop three months ago 
at an official Apple Center. After 10 days of installing this disk, the battery lost 30% of its capacity due to the adapter's inefficient power system. To save the battery, I had no other solution than reinstalling the original SSD. I've started using an external USB SSD for when I need more space. The following minutes of the video will only be a proof of concept of how the game runs with this new SSD. I had already recorded these videos in 2022, but I have had some lack of time to edit them. So eventually this game will be more optimized by this time. If this content has been helpful, please consider using the like button and subscribing to my channel for more informative content.